This video demonstration is brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with JC Rose. To see the full range of products available, visit www.jcrose.com. Hi, my name is Kate Hemmings, and I'm pleased to welcome you to a special video project demonstration brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with JC Rose. I'm joined by Eve Dine, who's going to show us how to customise a lampshade. Hi, Eve. Hi, Kate. Now, I've got this gorgeous example here of a lampshade that you've decorated. Mm -hmm. How are you going to recreate it? Um, well, I've brought in some extra trimming, okay. and I've got a, a hot glue gun here. It is cordless. You can take this out of the back. Um, and also, we provide the glue sticks that just insert into the back here. A couple of squeezes on the trigger and it pulls it through and heats it up as it goes through. Lovely handy little size as well. It is, very good to work with, yeah. Excellent. Well, I'm a bit distracted by all of these lovely things you've brought with you. Yes. Are these all alternatives that you can use to this trimming? Yes, definitely. So we've got just a couple of examples of the feather trimming that we sell at Josie Rose. Aren't they? So they're really nice. Um, this one is a beaded trimming, that's lovely. And also these lovely sequin trimmings, which we actually make in the factory at Josie Very Rose. Sparkly. Very nice. Really like those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, if I could get you to hold this for me. You certainly can. So I'm going to start at the back of the lampshade where there's a, a crease where it's all sort of stitched up at the back here. So if you could hold that. Certainly shall. I'll take my glue gun. Now, you have to work in small sections because it dries quite quickly. Okay. So, we'll put some glue on here and then apply this. And don't worry if you get some of this, if you're using a, a feathery trimming like this, don't worry if you get some of it underneath. There's plenty of it to, uh, to come over the top and over the bottom, just as long as you get the, the little crystals out of the way. So you just keep going along in short sections. Pressing down on it to secure That's it. That's right, just give it a little press. Some of the glue might come through but it, it's, it won't show after a okay. while once it's dried. It dries quite quickly. It does, yes. And I think it's quite good that it, it just works in short sections so that you can reposition it slightly, make sure you As get you it go. in the right place. Yeah. Okay. So you just keep working round. Just flick that one over. You can see it taking shape. It is. It's going to look amazing when it's finished. Well, I have a sneaking suspicion that you've actually got one that you made earlier. Have I you have. Said that? I have. If my handy assistant could I take that for have. me. So, this is one I made earlier. Looks so fantastic. So I've gone all the way round. And we've met up at the back of the seam here to complete it. So what I'm going to do now, so it looks like the one I made earlier over there, is to put on this Russian braid. Okay. So again, I can just seat it up here now. we we'll just put some glue on here. So you're doing it in the same way as you did the other two? Absolutely, tray. yes. This is quite a small braid, so you will get some glue coming up over the top there, but just leave it there until you've finished and once okay. it's dried it'll, it will, uh, you can take it off. So if anyone's used a hot glue gun before, they're probably quite familiar with the, the process of it, yeah. but it's quite easy. I just carry on gluing all the way around. Whoops. Need a steady hand for this, I think, <laughs> really. It's quite fiddly with a thinner length of braid. It can't, yes, it is. I'm probably being quite ambitious doing this, but... It's it worth looks, it, though. It, it does, looks yes. nice. It's quite stringy as well, the glue. So, we'll come round the front. And again, you're doing it in little sections. Yes, because the glue, um, it dries fairly quickly. So, I want to make sure that I get the braid on there before it dries. Mm -hmm. So you have to work quite quickly. fairly quickly. It's a little bit fiddly, don't worry about those stringy bits. They will come off eventually. <laughs> it's a nice easy way to transform a lampshade. It looks like it would have taken hours. Well that's true, it's very effective um, and very quick. And um, as you can see you can use anything yeah, to make it look very effective. That's right. You can match it in with the decor in your room. 
be a nice gift for someone actually, especially if they just moved into a, a new house. It's a good idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. So I'm just coming round to and meet up at the back. Just a little bit over the first bit that I put down. And just stick that. See, it's very stringy. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to wait for that bit to dry before I cut it so that it matches up at the back. Now that that's finished, this is a, a bow that I made earlier. So it's just tied the same way that you would just tie a bow on your shoes. You can um, put a little stitch through the middle of it. Um, but all I'm going to do is try and come to, this, to the centre at the front, put a blob of glue on the front there. And then just, just press it down. Just press it down, just until it, it yeah, a few minutes, a few seconds really, until it holds it in place. Fantastic. And there we are. And then I'm just going to clip these at the front so that they look nice. It can be equal or not. And then just clip that at the back so it's nice and flush with the other side. And there's your lampshade. Fantastic, it looks great. Thanks very Thank much, you. Eve. Okay. That's all we've got time for here today. But if you'd like to see the full range of trims available, visit www.josierose.com. See you next time. Bye.